Bucket coming out of the hole. Here's some gold from the first couple buckets I worked. Welcome back to another adventure, miners, prospectors, and rock lovers. It's always good to see all of you. And if you're new to my channel, big warm welcome. I hope you like what you see and you decide to subscribe. Behind me is Catch Creek. This is Powerline Road. It's known to have lots of gold. So let's go get some of it. Before I get started mining for gold, it looks like I got to pick up some trash. Lazy people showed up. These are porta potties, not trash dumps. All right, I'm gonna pick up this trash. I got several trash bags. I'm gonna waste a brand new pair of gloves. I don't have any latex gloves. Now yeah, that larger container, I'll just put in the back of my truck. But for now, I get all this other stuff in my trash bags. Freaking lazy people. All right, got that picked up. I'll just set that in the back of my truck or dump it into some bags. That'll just blow out going down the highway. All right, I'm going to get that picked up and get out there. I can't stand people that are lazy and trash out the earth. All right, we got the trash picked up. I feel better. First off, I'm just gonna walk around, scope out the place, find a good place to dig. I'm just gonna take my number eight classifier, a gold pan, a shovel, four buckets. Probably won't be using my stream sluice today. Runoff season's over with, so getting enough water flow could be a problem but we'll head on down to the creek check it out okay i made my way to the war zone as you can see people have been tearing this place up and this is pretty much coming right off the mountain where they blasted all the material and when they stopped the operation this stuff right here basically may have never been worked i think i want to jump down in this hole See if I can't find some good material. I thought we'd get down here and check out the layers. Oh, packed in there. There's that sandy stuff. Might work on some of that. See a lot of black sand coming out of here. Lots of black sand right in there. Like we got some dark color up in there. When it gets like this and you're undercutting, you definitely want to be ready for a cave in. Different layers. If you can find that clay layer, they say that the gold is above the clay layer. do some different sampling different types of layers and we'll see which one has gold
dark colored rocks are good. So I'm getting the material right down in here and it's really moist. So I'm having a hard time getting it to go through my number eight classifier. I really need a three eighths, which would be around a number four. I'll see you all down at the creek. I'm gonna head on down to the water, do a quick sample, see if there's even any gold in it. We don't wanna be wasting our time. You're not far from the hole, it's just right over that cobble piles. I'm going to pan some of this material, classified. I had to set up this panning station. You need deeper water than what this right here is. And if you dig a hole, it normally just fills in. So yeah, that'll help out a bunch. Let's get this material worked. I did two test pans. Not much black sand. A little, no signs of gold. I'm gonna go dig into a different layer. So I've gotten down past all this stuff we first started on, and I've hit like a hard pan. This could be the clay layer. I'm not sure. It's like a really different color. Here's a piece of it. So I'm getting the material that's right above this. You can see that where the line starts. I'm just scraping all that right there and taking some of this and we'll go get a sample, see what it contains. Got four buckets out of the hole. Let's jump down in here. It's gonna be really hard to see. So I stopped working on that layer, that, that lighter material. I just don't think there's gonna be much gold in it. Our better chances are gonna be everything above that. And I found this really interesting layer right here. It's about, oh, a couple inches thick right in here. Might get thicker over here. But it looked really good. So we're going to get some samples of that right there. And all the stuff right in here above that lighter layer. This is the material I've already scraped and broken up. Okay, that one's full. Bucket coming out of the hole. And all the material that's falling, I'll scoop that up later. Good thing to keep in mind it's always better to classify your material when you're looking for gold wet not good to dry sift you're missing gold you want to liquefy the material that way the gold drops to the bottom you got to get the two other buckets it's mainly that lighter color material this stuff is that layer that i found up above and there's quite a bit to get if i go horizontal into the uh, hole so let's work that first do a couple uh, sample pans and see what we get just got two more buckets out of the hole we're gonna skip that material that's below all this gravel this stuff is looking really good so we're just gonna stick with this but right now it's starting to rain 
and I'm out of breath. I want to get to some dry area. It's around 3.30. I've been washing bucket after bucket. I've been breaking it down through the number eight classifier. And out here, you want to go over your top screen for nuggets. There have been known to be nuggets found out here. I'm scanning through that, dumping it. But then I'm taking that material and I'm storing it in my truck and I'll work it when I get home. Starting to sprinkle again. The rain's kind of delaying me. Where I'm at, we got several washed. I would say maybe four or five buckets classified and got these three. If it starts to rain, I'll just load those up in my truck. It has lots of larger rocks. That's what I'm trying to eliminate. They got the weight. There's my dump pile. Lots of quartz. Quartz is a really heavy mineral, so that's a good indicator. Anytime you get some iron, we don't need to go get the magnet and see if we have any iron. For sure there's iron, but not all these black rocks is iron. Most of the rocks are granite and the gold is coming out of the granite. So basically what I've been doing is classifying the material, dumping it into this tub. YouTube supporters help pay for. Looks pretty good. One more bucket to dump into that tub. And then we got about four buckets that have not been classified. And we'll do that at the house. We're in Texas. I'm going to now work this material. As you can see, there's a lot of large rocks. I need to classify all this through my 3 8 which is around a number four classifier. And then I'll run that material through the 30 classifier get the blue bowl going here in a minute and see what kind of gold we get and pan out the larger stuff we should see some larger gold from catch creek versus the arkansas river got my buckets filled up looks like we probably get maybe two or three more buckets out of that tub probably a total of six buckets Okay, it turns out I have four buckets to work. And yeah, that one's about halfway full. Anyways, it was raining, so I had to bring this material home. I want to show how I lock up my equipment when I'm out way off from the truck and don't want to haul everything back. Yeah, I can wrap these cables around some trees. And I have mounted these padlock little thingies here uh, just a rivet and it seems to be on there pretty good but this will at least slow the thief down they're trying to take off your with your equipment definitely make some noise anyway that's uh like when i'm at catch creek i don't like to carry all my stuff back to camp when i'm going to be down there every day for two weeks wanted some way to lock it up and that's what i use i even have one on my stream sluice because carrying that thing back and forth to camp sucks. Uh, roll up the mats, take those back. Other than that, I'll leave the tub, my classifier, my slews, just to make it easy on me. All right, so now I'm gonna classify this material through the number four classifier. This is one of my prototypes. Now my classifiers don't have all this riveting and two pieces of aluminum. It's all one piece, custom bent. There is no cracks like that. So my classifiers have come a long ways. But this one here is still working good. It's over seven years old. I've washed a lot of material at the diamond mine with this classifier. I've washed a lot of material from Catch Creek with these classifiers. No repairs ever needed. And I just noticed a while back, it seemed like I could have trimmed that piece off, which I did. Well, now it looks like the water is going to just pour out 
and my classifier is not going to be submerged in water like I want, we might get an inch of water. Normally, it's supposed to be all the way up here. Uh, I can't believe I cut that off. That was dumb. This material has not been ran through a sluice straight out of that hole. So there'll be a lot of dirt, in other words, that you'll have to deal with versus running a stream sluice. It runs all that lighter material off for you. I think I brought home a big bug. Yeah, you're not in Colorado. All right, bucket number one. Sifting your material, this is the best way to do it. You never really want to work material dry. And at Catch Creek, you will find nuggets on this top tray. see the quartz that come out of this place but there's been gold nuggets found on the uh, top classifier okay that is ready all right i'm gonna get these buckets knocked out and i'll catch back with everybody in a little bit run it through the number eight and then run that stuff through the 30 mesh be ready to start getting gold you got it all worked down through the number four time to take my big scooper and i'll scoop all that material out put it in the buckets and then work everything through the number eight and then everything in here will go through the number 30 so once we get all that worked we'll be able to see what kind of gold we got out of the hole scooping out the last of it We'll have four buckets to work through the number eight. It smells great. Probably the best smelling gravel. Unless you're at the diamond mine. And you get to that really good gravel. Got that old 1930 smell from a movie theater. That's when you know you got some diamonds. Bringing everybody in just to let y'all see my setup. Bucket on a bucket. Yeah, I'm using these little classifiers. It takes forever to work your material with these, but that's all I got for gold. I'm going to design some classifiers out of aluminum like I do for the diamond mine. Don't quite have time yet. We've got that to run through the 30, the number 30, and this is the plus material and then the minus material is of course in here so that's the material is going to go through the blue bowl we'll pan this stuff out should see some little chunky pieces of gold in that stuff i hope we can find something over here in this material because it's a lot larger but the odds are slim the odds are very good to find something in this material that did not go through the 30 mesh and here we are we have the material that did not go through the number eight the material that did not go through the number 30 and here is the material that did go through the number 30 and what we will work through the blue bowl how you get the really fine gold hopefully panning this out we will see some 
small flakes and chunkies in here. Uh, it'd be nice to see something in here, but you never know, it's Catch Creek. It's happened many times. This is the last of the cons. I worked around, I would say three buckets of material through the blue bowl. Here's some gold from the first couple buckets I worked while I was in Colorado. It got really rainy and snow was coming in so I had to leave so my solar panel system wouldn't work. But yeah, that's not a bad amount. We'll definitely be able to weigh this out on a scale and get a reading. Got it all cleaned up. You can see the gold and my shadow. I don't want to suck all this up with my little sniffer. And there's a little bit more over here. Some of the bigger chunks. One little speck. Right there. Got it all. Now time to work the larger material and get the flakes and the nuggets and the chunkies. And here's the gold out of four to six buckets. I am very surprised to see that amount. That's the best I've ever done at Catch Creek. I've been out there now three times, four times and I normally come home with something like that. <laughs> days and days. Of course, you know, each trip I make, I learn new things out there. I meet different people. I find better places to dig. So, yeah, I'm very pleased to see that much gold. Now, let's put it on the scale and see what we're going to get on a total weigh-in. See, I'm going to take a guess. I'm going to say that's about looking at what I've already got from Catch Creek. Here's what I already have recovered over the years. See a gram. Gram and a half in four buckets one day. You know, I wasn't there for two months. Okay, enough of me yakking. Let's get this on the scale. As you can see, there's still some iron mixed in with that. I'm going to work on that a little bit. It would help if I had a 100 mesh classifier, and you really want to classify it down to 100 mesh. Then you can get all the iron out a little bit easier. Time to get this gold on the scale. I'm going to dump everything on this piece of paper, smaller. I'm sure that piece of paper doesn't weigh a whole lot. Well, 2.5 grams. If y'all can see that, but it is at zero. The paper was 2.5 grams. Wow, and it looks like it turned out to be 1.72 grams. Very pleased with that. I've heard of stories, two grams a day at Catch Creek, and I've almost got it. You gotta keep on digging, keep on chasing that gravel layers. If we can get this video to 3,000 likes, I will give all of this gold away to one lucky subscriber. Unreal. Man, that is so cool. And yes, there's some iron mixed in that. So it could be about, you know, 1.65. Now it's time to get the gold in the vial.
I'm gonna put this in a separate vial just in case this video gets up to 3,000 likes. Somebody's gonna own over a gram and a half of gold from Colorado. Get the gold in the vial. Got my little funnel. Oh, I love that sound. Hey, there's the gold. Awesome. Something I like to do with these glass vials, I'll put scotch tape. Just so in case you drop it, it won't shatter and lose everything. You can still sometimes get your minerals or your gold without it busting all over the ground. There's been a lot of people drop their vials, lose their gold. Tons of stories from the crater diamonds. There's diamonds in the parking lot to this day in the grass along the parking lot. So many people have dropped their vial either showing someone or they drop it and there's just diamonds out there in the parking lot shouldn't be a problem at all should it i didn't think so i know you all want the gold that's it from catch creek I hope you all enjoyed the video. It's so crazy how there's so many different types of layers of gravel and sand, and you really don't know which one's gonna pay out until you uh, do your sampling and work the material. I hope you all enjoyed. I'm getting soaking wet, so it's time to pack up and get out of here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Sun just now coming over the top of the mountain. Okay, I made my way to the war zone. See, people have been tearing this place up. And this is pretty much coming right off the mountain. See if I can't find some good material. So I'm getting the material right down in here and it's really moist. 